brand new school year this year, which means it's time to pack a lunch, but it's a great time of year to get in some healthy habits and pack some healthy food. So we're welcoming in registered dietitian Tara Sally with hy V. So you have some great ideas for us so we can start off the school year uh, on a good note and also give the kids what, you know, what they're not getting, right? Yes, that's exactly right. I know my kids are super excited to get back to school, but at the same time, we want to set those kids up for success by making sure their lunch boxes are packed with nutrient-rich foods. The best way to do that is using the USDA MyPlate as a guide. So uh -huh. this is basically going to be a great tool to just walk you through every single food group that needs to be in that lunch box. Starting with our fruits and vegetables. This is one of the most important areas um, of our lunch box that we are just missing out on. You know, not only kiddos, but adults as well. We just yeah. aren't getting enough of these. So a couple ways to make it more likely your kids are going to eat these foods is to pull them into that conversation. So rather than just sticking things in their lunch box, give them some options. You know, would you like a banana today or should we go with an orange? Um, right. Would you like carrots or should we do sugar snap peas? So they have a little bit of ownership in that. It's so true. Just you give them just that little bit of agency that they're making a choice. Yeah. Um, it goes a long way. Absolutely, yeah. So then they're kind of bought in. Secondly, make it ready to eat. So lunch is really fast for kids. It's really loud. They're talking with their friends. So if you put an orange in their lunch box, chances are they're not going to take the time to peel it, to segment it. But if you go ahead and peel that orange, segment it, all they have to do is put it in their mouth. They're more apt to eat it. Oh, yeah. um, with our veggies, we want to make those as fun as possible. So something we do at our house is we use a lot of dippers. Mm -hmm. This Bolt House Farms brand is a yogurt-based ranch. Um, and it tastes great, it's lower in calories, it's lower in saturated fat, and it makes it more fun to eat those veggies. Oh yeah. You could also use stuff like guacamole or hummus, even chocolate hummus works great, um, especially to pair with like berries or apples. Right. Yep. Very cool. Um, and then we move it over, what do you got here? We are, so then we're working our way around that plate, we have our whole grains over here. Usually our kids don't have an issue eating these whole grains. This right. is our crunchy, our kind of our fun food. But you want to make sure what you're purchasing is a whole grain. So go ahead and flip your package of bread over or your crackers. That very first ingredient should say the word whole. If it says refined, then maybe next time try and trade up for something a bit healthier. Um, we also have some energy bites here. This is another source of good whole grains. Um, these are loaded with um, old-fashioned oats, mm. um, so they have that great source of whole grain. There's Reese's Pieces. Yeah, there's also some fun stuff in there. So these are a big hit at our house because it incorporates several different food groups. We sell something like this in our company kitchen over here, but oh, they're not Reese's Pieces. They, they don't have the, yeah. see, the Reese's Pieces make these. Hold on to <laughs> I'll leave those so you yes. can try those later. Um, then we have our protein group. So this is super important. We have to have protein in our lunch boxes because it's our satiety food. This is yeah. going to keep your kids full from lunch all the way through the rest of their school day and even into those after school activities. It takes longer to break down protein than any other food group. So a couple options here. You could do these ready to eat um, hard boiled eggs. Fairlife makes a great product. This is um, packed with protein. These are also shelf stable, so you don't have to worry about them kind of thawing a little bit. You could do deli cheese, um, little peanut butter packs, turkey sticks. Greek yogurt is another great food source. And it seems to me, I keep hearing blueberries are like good for everything. They for are. Every, like every day we have a new story about how it's good for dementia, it's good for blood pressure, it's good for memory. It's you can't go wrong with berries. Berries are loaded with antioxidants, they're loaded with vitamins and minerals, and so it's a Anytime you have an option of fruit, I, I always try and push berries, raspberries, blackberries. They're all great. Amazing. Yeah. All right, so Tara, if people want to learn more, where, where can they go? Um, hop over to hyvee.com slash health, and you can connect with a dietitian near you and also pick up some more great tips on how to pack healthy lunches. All right.